And I want to talk about our blocking scheme very quickly when it comes to the short game, especially the quick passes and screens. We're not overly concerned with a blocking scheme here with some of this because we're getting the ball out so quickly. So we're going to get into this on a different video when we talk about our three-step drops. But for now, we're going to talk about just one of these protections, and that's our 50 protection, our five-man pass pro. What we really want to do here is we want to run it so that we can get the ball out quick. We just want to make sure that none of the defensive linemen are going to get to my quarterback and put pressure. So we're going to start out with an odd front, a 50 protection versus an odd front defense. If you've seen my prior videos, you know what I mean by an odd front. It could be three down linemen, it could be five down linemen, it could be seven down linemen. I've seen some defenses run the seven diamond. So it doesn't matter as long as it's an odd number of defenders. So I came out here at an empty set. What we mean by this 50 protection is we're assuming that we have five men in protection. That's what the 50 starts with, the five. We have five men protecting our quarterback. We probably have five receivers out there somewhere. We probably have some random formation. Or we're not worried about the halfback being in protection because we're getting the ball out quick. So this is what we use with our short passing game as far as protection goes. All right, for us, we want to make that 50 protection against an odd front as easy as we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a basic, basic protection for us. All right, I know it's a lot of cones and a lot of things to look at, but it really isn't as complicated as you might think. What we want to do up front is we want to have big on big blocking. Fat guy on fat guy. Some of you call it man to man. Some of you call it Bob, big on big. The key is for us, fat guy on fat guy. So our tackle is going to lock up on that defensive end. Our center is going to lock up on that nose guard. And our tackle over here is going to lock up on that defensive end. That's key. The fat guy on the fat guy. We want to make sure that we get those three fat guys blocked because these other guys have to come on a run. And that's all right. We want that to happen. Secondly, we have uncovered guards. So for us, we want to know what hand your quarterback throws with. If he's right-handed or left-handed, that matters. If I have a right-handed quarterback, which most of you probably do, we want to make sure that we're going to protect to his blind side or his left. So that's what we're going to do here with this 50 protection. We are going to make sure that our guard is checking back to the left, and then our guard here is checking back to the left, looking for these two blitzers. That's his responsibility. Now, what we want to make sure we also do with these guards is check for this outside blitz. If this outside backer is coming, we want to make sure one of those guards can peel off and take care of them. That's why we have them in yellow. What we're putting the quarterback responsible for is the play side blitzer. That's his job. If he gets a blitz from this guy, it is his responsibility to throw the ball before we even get to us. So we really want to make sure we've protected that blind side with this 50 protection. Again, big on big, man on man. We've got our, our guards helping out, looking for backer blitzes to the left, but to the right, play side, that is on our quarterback. That's his responsibility. So that would be our 50 protection versus an odd front. All right, the other thing that we do is we have a 50 protection against an even front. Now for us, a 50 against an even front, we use more of a slide protection. So now we've got four down linemen here, and even front, it could be six, it could be two, you guys know how all that works. But in this case, we've got a four-man protection, or four-man in front. We still have the 50 call, meaning there's only five guys protecting. So we're going to make that 50 call, and we're going to be blocking these four down linemen first. Those are our primary concern. The backers will come second. So first of all, we want to make sure that we've got those backers blocked, or excuse me, those defensive linemen blocked. How do we do that? Tackle. Responsibility is man-to-man. -man. That's his job. Tackle on end. Everybody else is going to slide back one gap. So what we've said is, tackle, you're on your own in a 50. Everybody else is going to slide to the right, one gap. So his responsibility is C gap, B gap, A gap, A gap. This side B gap, quarterback, you're on your own. That would be a 50 protection versus an even front for us. So solo blocking here, everybody else slides back a gap. All right, this would be really good against a, or with a left-handed quarterback. So he sees the blitz to the left, and we've got the protection here to the right. So just another way of getting into it with an even front, 50 and 51 is what we call it. A 50, we would slide, we'd have our man-to-man -to, -man to the left and our slide to the right. And a 51, we'd have our man-to-man -to, -man to the right and our slide to the left. So all we're doing is switching from an odd to an even number, whether we're going right or left. So that's our 50 protection. 
If we draw up a 51, we would have our right tackle man-to-man, -man, and everybody else would slide to the left, which you would use it with a right-handed quarterback. So that's really it, guys. That's the basics. We're not too concerned about blitzes coming from everywhere because we're going to get rid of the ball fast. The whole point of this is screens and quick releases. We want the ball out quickly. So that's our protection in the PSL.